5 Compromises Worth Making When Buying a Home Home buyers frequently begin their inquiry with a not insignificant rundown of unquestionable requirements. Just to discover they have to whittle it root down once they see what's inside reach. Unless buyer is a billionaire, it's difficult to check each one of those cases on the list of things to get. Anyway, how do buyers choose what bits of their fantasy they're willing to hack off? Envision a triangle with value, area, and size slash style slash redesigns at each point. Much of the time, buyers should be prepared to abandon one of those three. Hope to bargain. In the event that buyer will get 80% of what we need, he is fortunate. We requested that specialists name some basic concessions and offer useful wisdom or cautioning on how those exchange offs can play out. Here are five compromises worth making when buying a home. 1. Location. It's one of the primary thing agents say their customers will move on. While they might need to locate a home that is inside strolling separation to the downtown territory with shops, restaurants, and open transportation, buyers would prefer not to trade off on their living space. All things considered, they live in the home. At times these homes are too little to fit their way of life needs, or the bigger around the local area homes are just over their value extent. So the fantasy of a stroll to town area all the time will get expelled from a buyer's must-have list. 2. Square footage. In any case, not every person is inflexible about doing all that they can to keep from cutting back. All things considered, in case buyer is willing to avoid the visitor room, den, or lounge area, he might have the capacity to remain inside his financial plan and live in a more pleasant neighborhood. In some cases, the reward isn't paying long haul for family and companions to have the capacity to remain in his home. In this way, in case he wants to dishearten the in-laws from going through three weeks with him each late spring, this bargain could work out generally advantageous. In any case, real estate agents caution, if his space needs may develop sooner rather than later say, if his family is growing he might need to reconsider before moving into a tight crush. 3. Yard measure. A lot of buyers fantasize about finishing a general garden, or if nothing else having an outside pool or hot tub until the point when they see what they need to spend to get it. With regards to depicting their fantasy home, buyers often say they need an extensive terrace. In the wake of seeing loads of spots, nonetheless, Buyers understand that the extent of the backyard isn't as imperative as the openness of the inside of the home. Home buyers qualify what they mean by an expensive lawn, the appropriate response is all around the same, sufficiently huge to fit a swing set. And that is not precisely football field measure. With a goal that implies they have more homes to browse, particularly when stock is low. All things considered. House hunters are more resolved with regards to the terrain itself. They lean toward a level lawn to appreciate with their family and companions. 4. Awesome Garage. Out of the first-time home buyers who are moving from an urban zone to suburbs, it frequently comes as an unexpected that not all homes have a two-auto garage. More seasoned homes worked in them in 1930 often don't. While there are homes that don't have a garage by any stretch of the imagination and these homes are significantly harder off for buyers will trade off and buy a home that has a one auto garage if the home meets alternate things on their must have list. Buyers are frequently adaptable on the sort of garage also. A few garages are confined, which implies that buyers can enter straightforwardly into the home from the garage support of a nasty climate. What's more? Some single lot of garages are connected to the house, yet shock there is no section from the garage into the house. 5. Specific Architecture Along these lines, buyer generally envisioned himself in a craftsman lodge, until the point that he saw the asking cost. On the off chance that he all of a sudden get himself stricken with a Cape Cod, it's okay, he is not the only one.
Regardless of whether it is the structural style of the house or sort of kitchen counters, those things are one of the principal things said when customers reveal what they need. Be that as it may, one bargains must be set aside a few minutes to take a gander at homes for a bit and consider their financial plan, the home's style, as a rule, is the thing they ignore. For free samples of probates, inherited, foreclosures, absentees landlord, vacant, code violations, evictions list visit www.relsupermarket.com.